So hi guys, welcome to Saint of the Week. Uh, this week's Saint of the Week is Saint Anthony of Padua. So here's five things we think you need to know. So fact number one, uh, he was born in Portugal in the 12th century uh, and his birth name was Fernando. Uh, he grew up in a really rich family and at the age of 18, he decided to become a priest. So, number two, as a priest, uh, St. Anthony joined uh, a religious order called the Franciscans. And as part of these, uh, he changed his, that's when he changed his name to Anthony, uh, and it was actually run by St. Francis, and they became quite close friends. So, number three, St. Anthony uh, was really famous for his preaching uh, and how he spread the word of God. Uh, and as a friend of St. Francis, St. Francis gave him, uh, gifted him a book of the Psalms. And this book of the Psalms was annotated really, really well. Um, and it was a great help to St. Anthony on how he taught them uh, and how he preached about them. Um, and he treasured this and prayed with it. Uh, and it's what he used to be the best he could be. So fact number four, unfortunately this book was stolen from St. Anthony uh, and when he found out um, he was overcome with sadness uh, and he prayed about it uh, and luckily, fortunately, the book was returned by the person who stole it uh, and as well, the person who stole it then uh, joined the Franciscans, became a priest uh, and gave them, like, their life to God. So number five, what can we learn from St. Anthony? Well, um, he is now the patron saint of lost things and is also a doctor of the church. Uh, and patron saint of lost things because of this book um, that was lost and returned to him. Um, he is also known as miracles, um, are known for finding lost people um, and lost things as well. And we can also know as a preacher, he was really good at spreading the news of God uh, and did that even when times for him were hard. So how can we, uh, even when we're in difficult times, keep our faith, uh, keep close to God um, and keep spreading his word? So thanks for watching and uh, I hope you enjoyed five things about St. Anthony. Uh, remember to subscribe and give us a thumbs up and we'll see you soon.